What if the exercise advice you've been trusting for decades was actually preventing you from achieving true vitality after 60? Recent discoveries in the science of aging are forcing experts to rethink everything. Consider this. A landmark 2024 study from the University of Copenhagen tracked 8,000 adults over the age of 60 for five full years. The results were stunning. Participants who swapped their daily walks for a handful of specific targeted movements saw their risk of falling decrease by an incredible 73%. But that's not all. Their overall strength skyrocketed by 89%. These numbers are so profound, the researchers had to replicate the study twice just to confirm they weren't a mistake. And here's the most fascinating part. This group spent 40% less time exercising than the walking group, Yet they saw vastly superior results in every health metric measured. Their blood pressure improvements were 31% greater. Their joint pain plummeted by 67%, compared to just a 12% improvement in the walkers. They didn't just maintain bone density, they actually increased it. But the real secret, the reason you need to keep listening, lies in the number one exercise on their list. It's a movement so accessible that 94% of participants could perform it instantly with no special equipment. Yet, this one exercise was found to improve lifespan markers by a staggering 42%. According to the latest longevity research from Harvard Medical School, this movement triggers a process called mechanotransduction, which essentially sends signals that reprogram your cells to behave as if they were younger. Once you understand the science behind this, you will never view exercise the same way again. This knowledge could be the difference between striding confidently into your 80s or relying on a cane by 70. Before we reveal these movements, let us know in the comments your age and where you're watching from. We're building a community here and read every single comment. Now let's unlock the blueprint to future-proofing your body. Number five. The wall push-up with isometric hold. Starting our countdown at number five is the wall push-up with an isometric hold. It may seem basic, but the science reveals a powerful story. A 2023 study in the Journal of Aging and Physical Activity found that older adults who incorporated this specific exercise for just eight weeks boosted their upper body strength by 34%, more than those doing standard exercises. Why is this so critical? Health experts like Dr. Laura Rodriguez warn that after age 60, we face an annual loss of about 3% of our muscle mass. This isn't just about vanity, it directly impacts your ability to carry groceries, open a stubborn jar, or most importantly, catch yourself during a stumble. The wall push-up with a hold builds what physiologists call functional strength, the kind you use every single day. Here's the correct way to perform it. Stand about an arm's length from a solid wall, placing your palms flat against it at shoulder height and width. Lean forward slowly, controlling the movement until your head is close to the wall. And this is the game-changing part. Hold that position for three to five seconds. Feel the engagement in your chest, shoulders, arms, and even your core. Then push back slowly to the start. The key is the tempo, a two second descent, a three to five second hold, and a two second pushback. This method maximizes time under tension, which research shows is far more effective for building strength after 60 than just doing fast repetitions. Start with five reps and aim to build towards 15. If it's too easy, step further from the wall. Too hard? Move closer. This simple adjustment makes it perfect for any fitness level. Number four, seated leg lifts with resistance. At number four, we have the seated leg lift with resistance. And don't let the seated part fool you. This is a powerhouse movement. A 2024 study in the archives of physical medicine found this exercise improved walking speed by 28% and stair climbing power by 45% in adults over 60. Those aren't just numbers. Dr. Laura Rodriguez emphasizes that walking speed is now considered the sixth vital sign by many geriatric specialists because it's one of the strongest predictors of longevity and overall health. 
This exercise targets the hip flexors and quadriceps, the exact muscles needed to lift your legs to walk, climb stairs, or get out of a chair. Here's the proper form. Sit tall in a firm chair, back straight, feet flat on the floor. To start, you need no equipment. Extend your right leg straight out in front of you. Aim for it to be parallel with the floor, but only go as high as is comfortable. Hold the position for two seconds, then slowly lower your leg, but don't let your foot touch the ground before the next repetition. The secret is to keep your back pressed firmly into the chair, isolating the leg muscles. Perform 10 to 15 reps on one leg before switching to the other. This is called unilateral training, and it's fantastic for correcting the muscle imbalances that naturally occur as we age. Number three, standing heel raises with a balance challenge. Coming in at number three is a movement that addresses a system most exercise plans completely ignore, the standing heel raise with a balance challenge. A landmark 2023 study from the National Institute on Aging discovered that calf strength was the single greatest predictor of maintaining independence over the next decade. Stronger calves meant a 71% lower likelihood of needing assisted living. The reason is biological brilliance. Your calf muscles function as a second heart, helping to pump blood from your legs back up to your chest. Weak calves can lead to poor circulation and swelling. To perform this, stand behind a chair using your fingertips for light support. Rise up onto the balls of your feet going as high as you can. Now, here is the crucial addition. At the very top, try to balance for three seconds looking straight ahead. This challenges your vestibular system, the inner ear mechanism that governs balance and often weakens with age. Then, lower yourself down with control, taking a full three seconds. This slow downward phase is where much of the strength is built. Start with 10 repetitions and build toward 25. Once that becomes manageable, try doing it on a single leg at a time. This progression is what keeps your body adapting and growing stronger. Number two, modified squats to a chair. Our runner-up exercise is the modified squat to a chair. If you're worried about your knees, listen to this. A massive 2024 meta-analysis of 42 different studies concluded that when done correctly, chair squats not only were safe for people with knee issues, but they actually reduced knee pain by an average of 58%. The key is correctly. This single movement works your glutes, quadriceps, hamstrings, and core muscles all at once. It trains the sit-to-stand motion which is one of the first functional abilities people lose with age. The ability to rise from a chair without using your arms is a powerful indicator of health and independence. Here's how to do it right. Stand in front of a sturdy chair with your feet about hip width apart, toes pointed slightly out. Cross your arms over your chest. Initiate the movement by pushing your hips back first as if you're about to sit down. Lower yourself with control over three seconds. Gently touch the chair with your glutes, but do not sit down or relax your muscles. The moment you touch, reverse the direction, pushing through your heels to stand back up over two seconds. That's one repetition. Start with eight reps and build to 15. The Stanford Longevity Center found that this exercise increases lower body power, the combination of strength and speed, which is even more important than strength alone for preventing falls. Number one, the bird dog hold progression. And now for the number one exercise that is revolutionizing fitness for older adults, the bird dog hold progression. This is the movement we hinted at in the beginning, the one linked to a 42% improvement in lifespan markers in Harvard's research. This exercise may look simple, but it is the only movement that simultaneously improves core stability, balance, cognitive function, and back health. A 2024 study in the Journal of Gerontology called it the single most effective exercise for healthy aging. Here's why it's so powerful. The bird dog requires you to balance on an opposite arm and leg. This diagonal pattern strengthens the deep muscles that stabilize your spine, but the real magic is what happens in your brain. 
To maintain balance, the left and right hemispheres of your brain must communicate intensely. This cross-lateral neural firing has been shown to improve memory and even reduce the risk of dementia. Here's how to begin. Start on your hands and knees on a comfortable surface. Your hands should be under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Keep your back flat. Slowly extend your right arm straight forward while simultaneously extending your left leg straight back. Imagine creating a single straight line from your fingertips to your heel. Hold this position for five seconds, focusing on keeping your hips level with the floor. Slowly lower both limbs and repeat on the other side. The key is the progression. For the first couple of weeks, hold for just five seconds, then increase the hold to 10 seconds. After that, you can add a tiny pulse lifting the extended arm and leg an extra inch. Eventually, try the hold with your eyes closed, which forces your body's internal sense of position to work harder. A Mayo Clinic study found that participants performing this exercise saw a 93% increase in core strength and an 82% reduction in fall risk. Most incredibly, they saw an average 3.2% increase in bone density in their spine and hips, effectively reversing several years of typical age-related bone loss. This is mechanotransduction in action. The unique forces of this exercise signal your body to rebuild itself stronger and more resilient. These five exercises, performed for just 20 to 25 minutes, three to four times a week, offer benefits that far exceed an hour-long walk. It's not about exercising longer, it's about exercising smarter. It's never too late to start. Your body has an incredible ability to adapt and grow stronger at any age. It just needs the right challenge. And these five movements provide exactly that. Now we want to hear from you. What is one daily activity that has become more challenging for you? And what has been your biggest barrier to staying consistent with exercise? Share your experience in the comments below. Thank you for watching.